Well, it's been three weeks since Hurricane Matthew devastated Haiti, and thousands of people in the Caribbean nation are still in desperate need of help. Ron Matz reports some aid is coming from many people here in Maryland, including a member of the Baltimore Ravens. 145 mile per hour winds cause catastrophic devastation in Haiti. It's devastating. The storm's force is still in full view. Christiane Short was there for five days with the Life Connection mission in Germantown. We feel really helpless here, you know, stuck back here in the United States watching the TV and waiting for emails. The mission is delivering supplies to the people in Haiti. Even toiletries are desperately needed. They're being collected at the St. Patrick's School in Rockville, where Short is the principal. When you already have a little and something comes along and takes that little, it takes a lot of your hope away. The Ravens' Elvis Doomerville is helping his parents' native country, funding a project in Haiti. Pictures from his Twitter page show him there, where he is helping to build 58 homes, the number he wears for the Ravens. Missionaries say recovery from Matthew will take years. Even with relief going in from different government agencies, it's not going to be enough. It's just going to help some people. According to the United Nations, an estimated 1.4 million people in Haiti are still in need of humanitarian aid. It's sad to see people suffer, and they suffer on a daily basis anyway. And then to have a disaster on top of daily suffering, it makes us feel more grateful for the situations that we have here. Ron Matz, WJZ Eyewitness News. Lutheran World Relief in Baltimore is among the organizations raising money to help Haiti. For more information, just log on to our website, cbsbaltimore.com.